In Sweden, the LGBT people sure seem to get a lot of attention for being a supposedly underprivileged group. They even have a special parliamentary lobby, comprising no less than 60 people. This is one of many parliamentary bills addressing the concerns of LGBT people. Apparently, to get the parliament to look out for you, you have to adopt an LGBT lifestyle. The main party of Swedish politics, the Social Democrats, has got an LGBT group of its own, and this is their roster. This document is filled with language errors, which shouldn't surprise anyone familiar with the party where so many high school dropouts have made themselves careers. Here are a few examples of errors in the document. Would the author have been able to get off the psychedelic drugs at least long enough to write this document? Well, the person that wrote this is obviously not very good at being proper sentences. Do you understand what bad form it is beginning a subordinate clause with a name? Uh, did you learn how to put a name in a genitive? Why not fill out the document with words like, you know, while you're at it? Well, enough of poking fun at illiterates climbing the social ladder by fighting for supposedly underprivileged groups. It is however worth noting that very few of the people in this organization have worked a day of their lives outside of politics. They obviously don't need any other strategy to advance than to abolish various institutions for not doing enough to support gay rights. It's shocking to see how much work Swedish members of parliament are doing supporting LGBT privileges. If you compare how much work they put into advancing Christianity, which was the state religion of Sweden for a thousand years, surely that will be more than what's put into LGBT issues. Well, let's have a look. Let's see how many bills all in all contain the phrase LGBT. No less than 871 different bills. So how many bills are specifically about LGBT issues containing the word in the title? 74 bills specifically aimed at LGBT people. How many bills then have the word Christian in the title? Let's have a look. Only 32, and some of them are complaints about too much Christian influence in society. How many of the two kinds of bills have been introduced during the last seven years? 74 LGBT bills since 2002. Only 21 Christian bills since 2002. So, what kinds of bills are they introducing? Conditions of elderly LGBT people. For an older LGBT person, it can be very rewarding getting help acquiring newspapers. Human rights of LGBT people. My, that's sophisticated language. Heteronormativity and prejudices. LGBT in the world, LGBT and economic growth, LGBT in the labor market, LGBT and the educational system, sports and the LGBT, LGBT proficiency among public employees, LGBT and culture. We can tell that the Swedish members of parliament are hard at work focusing their energy on what's important in society. Hey, did we just miss out on something important there? The LGBT work of SIDA. 
SIDA is the Swedish government agency for foreign aid, feeding the starving people in the third world. Apparently some people feel it's more important providing them with LGBT education than with food. So, what is this bill about? Unfortunately, only a fraction of SIDA's budget today goes to LGBT work. Equally regrettable is that the cutback in the number of recipient countries for Swedish aid that has taken place probably hasn't taken into account the work with the LGBT issue. The foreign aid work can't focus only on the worst catastrophes in the world. I'm afraid that the Ministry of Sweden is no longer giving the kind of support that it needs. You see, there's defence, social security, health, housing, education, city walks. They're all supposed to be but last year the government spent less on the Ministry of Sweden than it did on national defence.